What's going on everybody and let's get into another GeekCast video. I'm not going to keep you waiting. So there is some news regarding Hulk, his future if we'll be getting World War Hulk and his eventual clash with the Red Hulk aka President Thunderbolt Ross. Let's get into the video. Alright, so it's part two of the Cosmic Circus questions regarding the Hulk. Let's get into the first one. So, if you look above my head, Ray D, after the comment of Bob Iger and Marvel slowing things down, are we still confident that a follow-up to Cap 4's Hulk story is still planned? So, as you guys know, Bob Iger said we're going to be doing three movies a year and two shows. No, two movies and three shows and, like, some specials and whatnot, stuff like that. But that still gives us the question, when will this happen? Will this happen? What's going on? Well, Alex goes on to respond with this. There are a lot of side stories currently running at the same time in the MCU, and we know that the end game for the multiverse saga is going to be Secret Wars. There is no doubt about it. However, there is a story that has been built up by multiple projects in the MCU, which I call the World War Storyline. This storyline has been set up by projects in Spider-Man Far From Home, WandaVision, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Black Widow, Eternals, Spider-Man No Way Home, Miss Marvel, She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, Black Panther Wakanda Forever and Secret Invasion. Now he goes on to describe it a lot of that and explain it and obviously with all those I mean it goes from like super soldiers to Hulk blood to government officials like um, the um, I can't remember what their name is the guys that clean up all the stuff <laughs> comment if you remember I, I literally can't remember but um, let's go into those details the storyline which has been cooking from the sidelines essentially has the countries of the world in fear of the unprecedented number of heroes that have started to pop up in recent years and the number of incidents that have occurred recently in the MCU since the events of Endgame and with no Avengers currently active the nations of the world are in a race with each other to try and develop their own superhuman soldiers or teams to defend themselves from all the enemies foreign and domestic it's why france was suspicious trying to obtain vibranium from wakanda in a covert operation at the beginning of black panther wakanda forever the same reason applies to the united states trying to, uh, to obtain vibranium without wakanda's knowledge in the middle of the ocean before being intervened by namor and the telecons it's also why the united states has the department of damage control that's what it was handle any superhero incidents such as spider-man no way home miss marvel and she hulk those are the ones i was talking about this storyline is about to reach its peak point in the MCU in stories like Captain America Brave New World where we'll see some countries trying to harvest materials to develop their own superhuman teams while others are already so advanced that they're already experimenting and creating their own versions of superhumans such as the leader, the Red Hulk, and don't get me started about the ones we'll see in the Thunderbolts aka The Century. Where am I getting at with this? Marvel Studios is setting up World War Hulk project, albeit not in the way that people would expect. This is something I've been saying that they're not going to be doing a World War Hulk film alone because they do not own the rights. That's pretty much what I was saying, not Alex. The idea is that Bruce Banner, who teased the dangers of Hulk's blood back in she-Hulk attorney at law to finally see his worst nightmare come to life the United States government and the governments of the world creating their own Hulks uh, this was actually a rumor we had for a while and it was going on to say that there was like half soldiers half Hulks and I think that would have been super cool you know to end like that on that showing that other countries are developing that but I guess we'll see but anyways then Alex goes on to say this might be the breaking point for Banner and could potentially see the return of the Savage Hulk people have been waiting to see for so long as he goes toe to toe with President Ross as the Red Hulk which I'm being told will happen sooner rather than later. Now that's huge. Um, apparently that's not going to be in Brave New World. So I'm assuming that's going to be possibly in the Thunderbolts. Obviously they're working on characters like the Sentry, Agent Zero, uh, Weapon X. Uh, I'm assuming they're probably going to do like just bring in a bunch of different characters and whatnot. Maybe get the hints at Wolverine, Lady Deathstrike, Deadpool. Well, Deadpool's already there, but you know what I mean. And essentially it's just a race because they all want to protect themselves. I mean, Thunderbolts is literally all about super soldiers and characters that are super advanced you could say so with that being said that sounds really cool we do know that the the nation that's the furthest ahead right now is japan they already have the adamantium and they're doing stuff possibly the silver samurai project and whatnot and obviously sam wilson and them are tasked with taking it to which then the thunderbolts are trying to get the person out of the vault which is the century 
as always let me know what you guys think i think this is an awesome opportunity to speculate and possibly bring up our own conclusion on when we think they will fight because i do think it's the thunderbolts but at the same time it may be a last second brave new world rewrite so with that being said let me know what you guys think and as always i'll catch y'all in the next one